This chapter will focus on connecting to SharePoint lists. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to set up and manage SharePoint lists within Dundas Dashboard. Note that it is assumed that you have access to the list within SharePoint and you are familiar with the data structure of the list. The sample data that we'll be using in this tutorial is derived from our sample database called Synatica 2010. We exported the country's table from the database and created a SharePoint list out of them. To simplify this tutorial, we will assume that SharePoint lists are generally used to store lookup data such as product information and geographical regions. Of course, it can store any data you wish. Let's start off by going to the Design Explorer and clicking on Data Connectors context menu. Next, click on the New Data Connector menu item to create a new data connector. Type in a meaningful name for it. Let's use 2.1.3 so it's easy to associate this tutorial for future reference. Now we need to use a domain account to access the SharePoint server that contains the list. We do this by checking off the Connect As box and entering the relevant connection information here. Next, click on the Provider drop-down list to see the available providers. You can see that Dundas Dashboard provides many data sources, but for this tutorial, we are interested in other data sources. Next, click on the Add button, which will pop up the following setup dialog. Choose SharePoint List as the data source type. Give the data structure that will store the SharePoint list information a meaningful name. In this case, we will call it Countries because it will contain a list of countries and their IDs. Now we need to specify the SharePoint site URL, which specifies the SharePoint directory the list is in. Click on the list name drop-down list and, if the URL provided is valid, it will auto-discover the available lists. Select the countries list. For the view name, we will choose all items. Generally speaking, this is the view you would normally choose. To discover the structure of the list, click on Discover Table Structure. Now, we need to iterate through each column and make sure that the column name and data type are accurate, similar to what we're doing here. As a rule of thumb, choose decimal for integer values. For string values, set the length to 255 if you are not sure how many characters the string might be. This will cover most cases. Note that if there are any columns you don't want as part of the data structure, simply check off the skip button as shown here. For this tutorial, we want all the columns. Once you are finished, click the OK button to close the data structure. If you feel you made a mistake, just click on the Edit button to modify the SharePoint list. If you feel you don't need the SharePoint list, go ahead and delete it by clicking here. To add additional SharePoint lists, just click on the Add button again and repeat these steps. For this tutorial, we're done, so click the Save button. Now this data connector will be available for the creation of virtual tables. We will talk about the purpose of virtual tables in subsequent videos, so don't worry about it now. This concludes our tutorial on connecting to SharePoint lists.